really early start. We were heading west of Bangkok to head to the floating markets and after that the railway market. The floating markets however weren't exactly what we were expecting. After we finished up at the floating markets we made our way over to the railway market here and it's completely made up for the floating markets earlier today because it is absolutely amazing. <laughs> Man, they do, they all just move their stuff. What just happened there? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I didn't expect that. And then they just bring all oh, they just bring all this stuff back out again. As if nothing ever happened. That was absolutely insane. I can't believe that. I think we made it just in time to actually see the train pass through the railway market here and it was the coolest thing ever. It got so close, like everything was like this far away from everything and oh, it was just so cool. That was the maddest thing I have ever seen. The train literally runs straight through the middle of this market um, and it is just absolutely madness. It gets so close to all of the stalls and just makes no sense at all but it is super super cool and I just can't believe it. It's completely taken me by shock how this market operates and how everything pulls back whenever the train's coming. So cool. Definitely the coolest market we've been to so far. where you go in Bangkok you can get these massive big things of juice everywhere you can get juice you can even get smoothies a wee bit of everything a bit of rain piece. So we've been in Bangkok about a week now and we've been to a lot of markets and in all of them there is certain stalls that are closed down, a lot of things that aren't active because of Covid but there still is also a lot of stuff that is open. There's a lot of stalls still serving food, serving kind of souvenirs, serving just loads and loads of different stuff and it has been amazing to see them but so far I would say coming to the railway market here has been our favourite without a doubt. We haven't been very daring with our food choices because a lot of the markets are actually putting us off a wee bit. There's a lot of flies and just not maybe the most hygienic. Some of the food that is being like kind of served out and that you can buy is a bit a bit vulgar. <laughs> like we were able a bit to watch. Yeah, a bit questionable. We watched a woman like pound fishes to death earlier on and it just wasn't very appetizing looking. So we think we're gonna go somewhere else to eat. But it has been very, very cool to walk around. It's a bit of an experience in itself. I got me some stewed banana in coconut milk. Quite looking forward to it. Hello. Uh, chicken. Can we get a four? So we are gathering up a right wee selection here. We have some chicken fried off in the street. We have some vegetable deep fried things. We don't know with some mad sauce and some chestnut. And I've got my banana and coconut milk. So it's all going well. What a day to be alive. It's banana. 
<laughs> so to round off this morning, the floating markets weren't exactly what we were hoping and looking them to be. It was a wee bit of a disappointment to be honest because a lot of the stalls were closed and we just didn't get the full kind of atmosphere of the floating market yeah. that we were looking for I really. I think they were trying to take advantage of maybe some tourists being around as well. So definitely. definitely haggle your price if you are looking to go. Even though the floating markets weren't fully what we were hoping and expecting them to be, we still had a great time when we were there this morning. We were able to get a boat for one hour the whole way around the markets and with that we were able to see people buying and selling different items from their boats and from the side of the water as well which is a very very cool experience in itself. It was just a wee bit disappointing to see so much of the market that was still closed. However. But, yeah, however, the railway market is in full swing. It is absolutely unreal. We have had such a blast just walking around here, picking up a few snacks and kind of checking everything out. It is an experience all in itself, just being able to stand and watch everybody pull away their stalls just to let the train pass. And it is just probably one of the coolest things we've seen so far. And I think it's actually been one of the cheapest markets so far, like food-wise as well. Food-wise, it has been so cheap. It's definitely been the cheapest we've had yeah. so far. We've spent nothing and got quite a few things, so we can't complain at that. So yeah, overall, we have had an absolutely amazing morning. Definitely check out the railway market. Maybe give it a wee bit of time to let the, the floating market kind of come back to life. But hopefully over the next kind of couple of months, things will start to brighten up again and it'll get a lot more busy. So it's good to note as well that whenever you get to these places, never accept the first price that somebody gives you. You can always haggle with them and get it a lot, lot cheaper. So the likes of this morning, we were trying to get a boat around the floating market just to kind of experience them on the water and kind of have a wee shop around. And for the boat for an hour, they were trying to get us to pay 3,000 baht. We managed to get them down to 1,000 baht for an hour, which we still don't know if it's too expensive or not, but we were happy enough given the fact that they started at 3,000. So we kind of, it felt like we were getting a deal, but we really don't know. But I'm sure if you shop around online before you go, you'll be able to get a lot cheaper again. But yeah, we were happy enough all the same. Just looking at the train again. <laughs> <laughs> so the juice is that good. We had to go back for another. We got mango this time. Mango. Right, never mind mango, we need a let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 